Hello students, once again, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show a very important and a very interesting chapter of mathematics, which is quadratic equation. And in this video, I will introduce the chapter and discuss one of the important methods of solving quadratic equation, which is factorizing. So let's get started. Before moving to the main chapter, let's discuss something which is you already know. 3x plus 1 is linear in nature. We know that. But if we write 3x squared plus 2x plus 1, here we can see that it is not linear. Why? Right? Because the power of the variable x is 2 here. So it is quadratic in nature. When the power of the variable is 2, the term is quadratic. And for the same, if we add equals to 0, that is 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0, it becomes a quadratic equation. So the highest power of the variable should be 2 in a quadratic equation. What is quadratic equation? A quadratic equation in one variable is an equation in which the highest power of the variable is 2. So here the highest power of the variable is 2. So this is a quadratic equation. The standard form of quadratic equation is given by ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0 where a is not equals to zero. Why a not equals to zero? Because if a is equals to zero, this will vanish. That is, this will become zero. Zero multiplied with x squared is zero. So it will not remain a quadratic equation. So the standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. Now if we compare three x squared plus two x plus one equals to zero with this standard form, here we see a is three, right? a is three, b is two. You can see a b is 2 and c equals to 1, right? So this is how you can find out the values of a, b, and c. Now there are different ways of solving a quadratic equation, factorizing, completing the square using quadratic formula. In this video, I will share the factorizing method with you. We'll solve some sums. Now, if you are said solve the quadratic equation. So what do you mean by that? What will you do? If the variable in the quadratic equation is x, we will find out x. Now since it's a quadratic equation and the power is 2, we should always make sure we should get two values of x. Now we come to the factorizing method where the quadratic equation is x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals to 0. First, we will check whether the quadratic the equation is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. Yes, it is because the power of the variable is 2 as well. And here a equals to 1, b equals to 5. If we compare with this and c equals to 6. Now, what we do is we'll multiply 6, that is c with a. So a is 1 here, right? So we multiply 6 with 1. So we get 6. So we multiply 6 with coefficient of x squared. The coefficient of x squared is a, that is 1. So we get 6. Now next step is find out two factors of 6. The only two factors of 6 which is possible here, 2 and 3. Because we know 2 multiplied with 3 gives us 6. So we have found out two factors of 6 which is 2 and 3. Now we will find the factors in such a way so that after addition and subtraction of the factors, middle term comes as 5x. This is a middle term. We know 2 plus 3 is 5. So we get 5x by adding 2 and 3. And the same numbers are multiplied and we get 6. Now we write x squared as it is. And 2x plus 3x gives us 5x. This 2 and 3, we have got factors of this 6, right? So 2x plus 3x and plus 6 comes as it is equals to 0. Now we take common. x is common here. The remaining is x here, so x squared. And here we have taken x as common, so we get, get remaining as 2. So x multiplied with x plus 2 plus, we get 3 common here, so plus 3 multiplied with x plus 2 equals to 0. We can see here x plus 2 is common to both. We write x plus 2 multiplied with x plus 3 equals to 0. 
So we can write either x plus 2 equals to 0 or x plus 3 equals to 0. So let's solve it. x plus 2 equals to 0. So we get x equals to minus 2. Or x plus 3 equals to 0. x equals to minus 3 because we take 3 on the right hand side. Now we can substitute the values of x to find out whether we have solved it correctly or not. So let's substitute the value of x equals to minus 2. So minus 2 whole square plus 5 multiplied with minus 2 plus 6. So minus 2 whole square is 4. Minus 10 plus 6 equals to 0. So this is right. You can also check with minus 3. Now we come to the next sum. 3x squared minus 5x minus 12 equals to 0. If we compare with ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, what do we get? a equals to 3 b equals to minus 5, c equals to minus 12, right? The next step is we will multiply c, which is minus 12, with a, which is 3. So minus 12 multiplied with 3 gives us minus 36. Now we find out two factors of 36. It can be 6 and 6. But will we consider that? No. Why? Because 6 plus 6 is 12, which we don't get 5x. And 6 minus 6 is 0. Right, so six and six is cancelled. Now we consider other factors. Nine and four is yes, nine times four is thirty-six. So we can consider nine and four as factors because nine minus four gives us five x five. Right. Now let's solve. So we write three x squared as it is. Now we write minus nine x plus four x because we have to make this as minus. If we write plus nine x minus four x, we not get minus sign here. So we get my, we write minus 9x plus 4x because now minus 9 into 4 gives us minus 36. Minus 9x plus 4x minus 12 is as it is. Now we take common 3x. Remaining is x. Now 3x is common here. So what is remaining here? Minus 3. We write minus 3. Close the bracket. Give the addition sign. Here we take common 4. Remaining is x minus 3 equals to 0. Now we see x minus 3 is common to both. x minus 3 is taken common. Now here remaining is 3x. And here it is plus 4 equals to 0. So either x minus 3 equals to 0. So we get x value as 3 because we take minus 3 on the right hand side. Or 3x plus 4 equals to 0. So x equals to minus 4 by 3. So this is how you factorize. So you have got two values of x, which is 3 and minus 4 by 3. So this is how you will proceed factorizing method. In the next video, I will share other methods of solving quadratic equation. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. Bye-bye. Have a great time.